What's up guys, welcome back to Evolve. Going into game here on the Goliath, uh, on the dam. I did my standard build and I think I'm going to go with... Okay, so I'm going to go with cooldown reduction. This is basically my standard Goliath build for this game. Um, I do one into charge, one into flame breath, and one into leap strike, and then I do cooldown reduction. I mess with cooldown reduction and smell range, pretty much those are my two that I go to. I mess with a couple other things, but for the most part, most of my games were those two those two uh, perks because I think they were the best out of the out of the lot of them. I really like uh, smell range just because you get a lot more information. I've talked about it before in previous videos, but just waiting for everybody else to lock into their characters. It looks like it's going to be Lazarus plus a standard setup. So we have Lazarus, Hank, um, Maggie, and Markov. Um, so yeah, a little tip there. Armor does recharge when you're not taking damage on the monster. A lot of people don't know that. It's not all that quick, but it does recharge slightly. So you can use that as to your advantage um, and just stealth around people. And even if you can't find a few creatures to eat, you can still get a little bit of armor and not take as much damage. A lot of the time when you're low armor and you're inside of a dome, it's better to just stay away from them. Try to sneak around uh, different elevations and stuff like that so that you don't take damage. But we're just waiting to load in here. Um, I don't, I don't really have like a set thing that I do on the dam uh, compared to the dis compared to distillery map. Distillery, I always go up towards that cave and I always go for an ambush there. Dam's a little bit different. I just sort of try to create distance. Uh, a lot of the times, I'll just go over the ledge like most monsters do and go to the left hand side. You can go down the river, but you risk being seen by the dropship. So. Generally, this path is the way that most people go, and then from here I don't really do anything specific. Sometimes I'll go any three of these directions to try to uh, lose to the hunters a little bit. Or if I can see wildlife off in the distance, a lot of times I'll go there. So you can see I sort of went, started going down a path, and then I'm sneaking back to a different path. Um, this is something that I do pretty often, although here it doesn't really help me that much because um, I still have to loop back around to that original path anyway. So the only thing that's really helping me is I'm on a different elevation, so they might not spot me. But if I can get if I can cut around this area a little bit quicker than the hunters, um, that'll definitely help me out. So there is a perk here. I don't know. I don't think I actually go for it. I think I might have been being shot at that point. I don't know if I was hearing uh, rustling of bushes from me or if I was hearing gunshots just then, but. It looks like they're not really close to me, but either way, continuing to feed off of things. And like I said, I need to refine my uh, my path on the the dam when the game releases or when beta comes, because I'm not very good on it. I don't know exactly where the creatures spawn, exactly where to go to get full armor quickly and stuff like that. I would say that I'm pr I'm kind of behind in terms of how much armor I should have at this point, but. This should fill me up on armor, and we'll see if I decide to go ahead and engage the hunters, or if I decide to evolve uh, first. Generally, if I don't see anybody around me when I'm smelling and stuff like that, and they're just not on my trail at all, I'll just evolve. Um, I'm not full yet, but I am looking to see if they're close enough to me to get a fight, because a lot of the times you can just go for a stage one. Um, attack and at least get one down penalty out of it if you're full armor and you get the jump on them so that's what I'm going for here but they're really just not on my trail at all they, I don't know where they were going but uh, that early little juke that I did must have done must have done wonders in throwing them off of where I actually was so at this point I've wasted a bit of time um, because I'm looking for a good pounce attack but they're just not around me That also helps with smell range, though. I might be able to see them if I had that 30% extra range on my smell. Um, would definitely help out. Some things about evacuation is there is a buff that you can get if the hunters win a specific round. It's a debuff on the monster where they don't actually have the ability to smell. It's just completely removed. That's probably one of the strongest things in the game, because um, as a monster, using your smell ability is, like, so key. So I can evolve now. Um, I'm probably just going to go for it because they just don't seem to be all that close to me. 
a quick tip about evolving, if you evolve inside of a cave, which I don't know if I'm going to do it here, but if you evolve inside of a cage, it makes it so that Hank can't get his orbital strike down on you while you're in the cocoon, which is the highest amount of damage that you can do. It looks like I'm going up to the place where I tend to evolve at on this map, which is up a little bit on the high ground. It's hard for the hunters to actually get up there because it takes almost their full jetpack to actually climb up there to hit me. And um, a lot of times they'll just run straight past it because they just don't expect you to be up there. A lot of people during the alpha didn't even know that you could go up there. So I'm maxing out Fire Breath here. It's a pretty easy ability to use. And uh, yeah, there's all the hunters right on me, and it looks like Daisy's going to find me. So um, I'm just going to go in here, and I'm not really going to probably go for a fight because I am I have no armor. So I, I'm just trying to move as quickly as possible so that they don't get the... Um, what do you call it there? The, uh, the dome on me. So I managed to get away enough where they're not going to be able to dome me. I don't know if they wasted their dome because I'm basically just trying to create distance because I don't have any armor since I just evolved. So Now I'm doing a little bit more sneaking, trying to juke them a bit. Smell range definitely helps when you're trying to juke them because it's, you know I'd be able to see if they're going past that area and then just like circle back around. Some Reavers over here. I do choose to go ahead and take those out. When you're stage 2 it's pretty easy to just take them out with Flame Breath and you don't have to worry about the little bit of damage that they can do to you. Reavers are aggressive if you attack one of them. The entire pack will come after you. It can be annoying at stage 1 if you uh, you don't, don't have the right abilities. They can deal, deal a little bit of damage to you if you don't have any armor. So Clearly don't want to have um, wildlife deal any damage, permanent damage to the monster. So I'm almost full armor. Just like two bars away from it. No engagements with the hunters, mainly because the only time that they saw me I was able to escape and I didn't have any armor at that point. So I do see one of them here and it looks like I'm going to go ahead and try to take out this guy who looks like he's at least a little bit far, far away from uh, from their team. So it is the medic, which is Lazarus, so you definitely getting down penalties on Lazarus is super important. And it, a lot of the time it's pretty key to uh, stick on Lazarus as soon as he uses that healing uh, burst being able to stick on him and you notice there he actually used stealth um, but because he was burning it's easy to see where he is so I was able to get a good charge on him and now Lazarus is dead and now there's another guy dead there I don't know exactly who it was looks like maybe it was Hank so definitely not a good fight for them they haven't even gotten through my uh, gotten through my armor yet so Lazarus might be at the ship right now which is really bad for them uh, I'm not sure if I choose to end it here but I could pretty easily do so Lazarus getting caught out by himself like if you play Lazarus you cannot go ahead of your team it's kind of annoying sometimes especially if you're playing with a newer team that doesn't know how to track the monster well so they're just not ever getting close enough to do anything to the monster so you kind of feel the need to go ahead of your team but you really can't do it on Lazarus because he doesn't have uh, enough to keep himself alive like mainly because Val can keep the rest of their team topped off and if Lazarus goes down and your team is stuck without a medic or a, like a, a healer for that amount of time is just it's deadly to him like the entire idea behind Lazarus is keeping uh, the team revived without down, down penalties so if you get down penalties yourself and you start getting sent to the ship every single fight it's just really bad for you all right so we finally evolve to stage three um, at this point there's so many people probably in the uh, in the ship that I'm pretty free to just like eat and then go for the final fight and at this point I don't think there's really any way for me to lose I have hardly any health damage taken I actually don't really like stage three monsters only because they're so much slower I did take one uh, one skill into rock throw and a lot of the time, actually I might have taken all three points, I didn't notice what I took when I evolved, but a lot of times when I'm super far ahead I'll take Rock Throw just to level it up, because I'm not really a big fan of the ability, so if I'm ahead it's okay to take it, but if it's possible that I can lose I'd rather take 
the other three abilities because they're better in my opinion. But we'll see if they make any changes. Obviously there's going to be balance changes for the, from the next time that I play. So it looks like they're set up there at least somewhat. They haven't really noticed where, I've, where I'm coming from, but I did just alert birds, so they probably know where I am. I'm just trying to get as, cl as close to them as I can. Um, and it looks like they actually jumped down for me, which is a mistake in my opinion. Like, clearly I'm here to fight you. You don't really have to... You can stay where you're set up and let me run into traps. That's obviously what you would want to do to give yourself any chance whatsoever. Looks like this might be Maggie, yeah. So I took down Maggie, which takes down the dome, not that it really matters. Um, is this guy maybe the support? Yeah, it looks like it's the support. So he's going to be down, and he's also going to be go going back to the ship. And at this point, I'm trying to just keep Lazarus off of Maggie. Um, if it gets to be where it's only Lazarus alive, like, that's obviously really good for me. Although at this point I think I got so far away from Maggie that she should probably be up. And actually support got revived as well. So something about Lazarus, if you don't actually eat their bodies, even though they get sent back to the ship, um, they can be revived by Lazarus if, they, if he finds their corpse. It's hard because there's no marker on the map, but if he finds their corpse uh, it works out. So Lazarus is just pretty annoying, you know, if you're good at Lazarus you can really keep the team topped off as long as no one's on you. Now the bad part about that is he was actually cloaked and the support used his beam on him. So I was able to see exactly where he was and then get some flame breath on him and now I'm stuck on Lazarus at this point. And so it might take me a little bit but I'm going to be going on Lazarus and killing him for sure. So he gets melted there by Flame Breath. And I'm not sure if he got sent back to the ship or if he actually got revived here. Looks like he's kind of stuck somewhere. Yeah, it looks like he, they ended up getting Lazarus up, which is unfortunate for me, but at this point they still haven't gotten through my armor. Um, actually, they got through it a little bit, but it started to regen because I just wasn't taking any damage. So a decent uh, barrage actually there did, did a little bit of damage to me, but it's not going to be enough. They are doing a pretty good job at a last stand, though, for sure. And their La uh, Lazarus finally had a second down penalty, so he finally went straight back to the ship. And I ended up hitting that guy mid-air with that rock throw, which is really good. Um, I'm trying to get better at doing that. I was trying to get better at doing that. Obviously, I can't play right now, but that's something that is pretty fun to do when you can actually do it. Uh, but it's pretty difficult as well. It looks like it's just Daisy left, so there we go. Letting the bleed, letting the uh, the flame damage over time take him out. So there we are. Nice easy monster win on the dam. I will go ahead and wait for this replay to play out, and then I'll end the video. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.